who need to hear this, but just know, first of all, let me focus. Focus. Can you focus on? Ooh. What's poppin', beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, the name is Bree. Yay! Have you ever felt rejected by someone you like? Maybe you had an audition and you didn't make it through the cut. You were trying to hang around a group of people and you wanted to be friends with a certain group of people and they didn't want to be your friend. I know who needs to hear this but just know rejection is for your protection let me give y'all a few examples my mom told me that when I was younger she tried to take me to an audition um, I guess somewhere in Hollywood basically I didn't make the cut like I got rejected I genuinely feel like me getting rejected by the people from Hollywood or a model agency whatever it was I feel like that was for my protection because I can't count how many stories I've heard kids in the industry were and still are I'm sure targeted rather that's they getting taken advantage of financially mentally sexually so on and I just feel like not saying that the people who actually went through those things are not protected but i genuinely feel like i am covered okay i'm covered there's a lot of things that i thought i wanted or i thought it was a blessing and i missed my blessing but in actuality it wasn't a blessing another example those who know me know I am a dancer. I've been dancing since I was a little girl and I've been on several dance teams um, including one professional company. Let me just say I had big dreams to be a dancer. Don't get it twisted. Whenever there's opportunities presented, I'm definitely down but it has to align with me and it has to sit right with my spirit but there was an audition I attended in Vegas and the judges gave off this vibe that they were looking for a specific race, a specific look, which I understand like that's how it's going to be in the industry, but they weren't necessarily looking for talent. They were looking for the look. I remember they separated us in groups and they had us perform based on our race. Um, all the black girls, you know, represent all the black girls and the mixed girls. I want you guys to go. You guys are number one. Number two are going to be the Hispanics. Number three are going to be my milk, my, um, vanillas. My, they were trying to make it like, you guys are all beautiful, but in the same breath. Ooh, sorry y'all, I'm not focused. But they were trying to separate us. Like, that didn't sit right with me, but I just kept going on with the audition. Yeah, why wouldn't you just turn the light? I'm so sorry, y'all. I had to turn on my car light. It was looking a little too dark. On the bright side, I got to meet some beautiful, talented women, and we exchanged information, social media, and I got something good out of it. Um, however, I was rejected. I didn't get, I didn't even make it. I don't know if they had a part two. Yeah, I think they had a part two. I didn't make it to the next cut um, along with many others. That rejection was for my protection. There are so many dancers out there that are so talented and they get paid very minimum to none. And not only that, like when I think about artists in general, dancers, singers, models many of them you will hear stories about them getting taken advantage of last example i want to give you guys i'm sure we can all relate to this in some shape or form the men that basically made me think that i was being rejected and i wasn't worthy and this and that let me just tell you 
They ain't shit, they ain't never gonna be shit. There is one particular guy that I was in love with and he made me feel rejected because he was like messing around and doing him and we were younger at the time i had to be like 14. we were younger at the time so he was kind of he was kind of doing him if i'm not mistaken he was like 16 i was 14. so you know like you know my mom was a little strict too so i had to kind of like stay in the house he would go on and do his own thing and mess with other girls and make it seem like he not tripping off of me but then again i'm young i was young at this time but of course lovey dovey brie is like what's wrong like why is he acting like this like i thought it was us but honestly rejection is for my protection because let me tell y'all this boy yes boy not a man but this boy is very abusive he's a cheater obviously a liar no good just no good i will never forget this person low-key had me spook like he basically showed a red flag when i was dating him at the time like he did something that was just like oh like let me like what this nigga, he crazy but come to find out when i let that go and i just turn your damn light off so sorry y'all this is why it'd it be so hard for me to record because my mind be all over the place and it doesn't help that these lights like people driving by and their lights are on somebody just had their high beam on so it's just distracting me but anyways just know that rejection is for your protection god always got something better in store for you you just have to trust him yes it's hard to let go yes it's hard to not be in control but i promise you like I can I can definitely testify on this like I can this could be a whole nother video but when I tell you when you let go and you give in as far as trying to be in control and you let God the universe have his way he will lead you he will guide you and he will start blessing you with people who are aligned with you, with people who appreciate you, with people who are not going to reject you. You got to trust the process and understand that some things are not meant to be. And what's for you is what's for you. And I, it took me a while. I'm 28 now. And I'm still young. So it's like, I'm glad to be in the stage that I am at this age because you know there are people who are older than me who are just now learning what I'm learning so I'm very very grateful but had I known in my early 20s that you know sometimes a no is for your own good and it's it's, it's for your own good and sometimes a no doesn't necessarily mean it's no forever it's just in that moment had I known that, oh my gosh, like I would have been, I was too busy trying to hold on or trying to change somebody's mind or trying to make them love me or trying to be down with this or trying to be, you know, so I'm just very grateful for the lessons that were brought to me in this lifetime. Um, just just always keep in mind if you are feeling rejected or you feel like somebody doesn't know your worth or they're not making you feel loved take that as a sign to just let go and leave them alone because god got something better in store for you rejection is for your protection i don't know who needs to hear that but with that being said peace and blessings to you all make sure to be kind you never know what somebody is going through until then Oh, until then.